Hello everyone, this is our 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550 4MATIC with 63,541 miles. Absolutely beautiful car. It's chrome trim, as you can tell by the front grille. And the paint, although it does look black in some situations, it is just a really, really dark, very metallic gray. It is a, just a beautiful color really sparkles in the sunlight it looks amazing front end has very very little wear on it just the uh, slightest amount of very very small chips which are all basically in the lower portion of the front bumper it's even less noticeable virtually nothing across the hood the emblem is in great shape The hood as a whole, the front end as a whole really, uh, I'd say is in like 9.5 out of 10 condition. Very, very few rock chips on the front. Looking at the driver's side front fender, no blemishes there. Front driver's side wheel, gotta love the uh, signature twin five spoke Mercedes wheels, no issues there. Driver's side mirror, one tiny little mark there, tiny mark there. Overall, it looks really good. Front driver's side door. No flaws. Rear driver's side door. No flaws there either. Rear driver's side wheel. A little bit of scratching on the outside of the lip. Not very noticeable at all. A couple very small chips. But otherwise in very good condition. Driver's side rear quarter panel. Looks excellent, no issues. Moving around to the back. <coughs> Excuse me. It is allergy season here in Oklahoma. Back bumper looks great. I don't see any flaws, any scuffs, chips, scratches, or anything like that. Back end looks great. Top of the trunk lid, perfect condition. No scratches, swirls, or anything like that. Face of the trunk lid. You got no marks there looks really good the entire back end is in exquisite condition and mercedes really knows how to make a car passenger rear quarter looks great does have just a couple very small marks very tiny scratch there and there a few one two three super small scuffs i mean like micro scuffs but I am pointing these out just for the sake of full disclosure. We're not trying to hide anything. You know, it does have more than 50,000 miles on it, so it's not going to be perfect. Uh, another very small scratch there. Rear passenger wheel. Looks great, no flaws. Rear passenger door. We've got just a couple very small marks right up here. They're very difficult to see. Front passenger door, a couple really small marks there in the center. But that's really it. Passenger mirror, got a couple rock chips here in the inside around this kind of sector here. But otherwise it looks really good. And those marks are very small, very difficult to see. You won't find them unless you look for them. Very small scratch there and the front passenger fender. Looking at the front passenger wheel here. We've got no scuffs, scratches, or chips. Nothing like that. This car looks amazing. I'll go ahead and walk around the car from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we like to do these comprehensive walk around videos for our out of state buyers to give them the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a sight unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis and helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a better well-rounded perspective of the overall condition of the vehicle. This S550 is super clean, spec great. I love the paint color. Gotta love the twin five spoke AMG wheels as well. That's just signature Mercedes there. Here on the interior, we do have white and gray. 
interior. Kind of a, a harder leather for the top and the center section and then the armrest is obviously going to be a smooth softer leather. So this car, as you can imagine, has tons of features. I mean tons. So start off with the mirrors. So we have power folding, auto dimming, blind spot warning, side view mirrors. For seats we have memory three memory profile, power adjustable, heated and cooled uh, seats that do have dynamic bolstering, which means when you turn right, the uh, right bolster kind of squeezes into you to keep you planted into your seat. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on there. Uh, they are massaging, I believe as well. Yes, they are massaging too. We have Burmester Premium Audio in here. Sounds fantastic. One touch windows with rear power sh shades for the back two windows and a uh, rear shade for the back glass as well. Do you have um, power lift and close for the for the trunk lid. It does have a, a kind of footwell padding, kind of a cross stitch floor mats here that just Velcro in. They're very nice and I think it blends in with the interior color really well. Um, typically, I kind of think these are sort of tacky, but I think it works really well with this car. It doesn't look out of place. It almost looks factory. Driver's seat is in perfect condition, no flaws. I do apologize. It does have a little bit of wear here on the outside uh, seat bolster, just a little bit. Darker wood grain trim across the dash. Let's go ahead and start this up. It is super hot outside. So we've got push button start here. Mercedes keyless go. Dual zone automatic climate control, as you can see there. Navigation, Bluetooth. We've got heads up display. Uh, lane keep assist, lane departure warning. We've got 360 cameras. Very useful to have. I love that. There's the heads up display. I'm not sure if you could see it, but it's directly above the dash there. Kind of flickering a little bit. Bluetooth controls here on the steering wheel. We've got different driving modes as far as sport and eco. And then we have sport and comfort for uh, adjustable suspension dampening. It does have body lift, so you can press this button here and raise the ride height of the car for uh, roads that might have potholes or things like that. Auto start, stop, disable, and then phone options, navigation, radio, um, your massaging seat options. And even the options just go insanely in depth for the front two seats. Uh, there's tons of things that you can have the seat do. You can actually program the, the seat bolstering to be in or out. You can have the lumbar adjusted. Like the seats can be custom tailored so in depth to your liking. It's just ridiculous. It's almost too much. Paddle shifters for the automatic transmission. And again, wood grain inserts for the steering wheel. The center of the dash goes around through the door panels. And the uh, passenger has all the same seat controls and options that the driver's side does. We do have a twin panel panoramic sunroof for the front and the back. The back does have sunroof control as well. Oh, and before I forget, we do have distance pacing cruise control and a heated steering wheel as well as the power steering column adjust. Gotta love that. Really not sure why every vehicle doesn't have that. So here in the back, believe it or not, the features don't stop. Um, it does not have separate climate control in the back. However, oh, and I forgot to mention as well, doors are soft close. Uh, so we do have heated and cooled seats in the back with memory profiles. Yes, the seats are power adjustable. And then we have the sunroof control here. Oh, that's for the rear power shade there. And that's for the sunroof. I'm just controlling those with these two buttons. And then we have the rear power shades. Pretty amazing. 
Gotta love that. Really relieved that didn't have child locks on it. Didn't didn't think about that. I have gotten myself into a situation before with child locks. So as you can tell, this vehicle just has an insane amount of features. This car is all about luxury. And then of course we do have the bi-turbo V8 paired with the automatic transmission. This car, um, again, like most bigger uh, luxury vehicles, especially Mercedes, they have these big twin turbo V8s in them. That's not to go fast. That's not for quarter mile times. That is so the vehicle can make peak power at a very low RPM which means you don't feel it rev out, you don't feel it shift. Um, it's about a seamless and comfortable driving experience. So you're not meant to hear the vehicle or feel it, it's just supposed to float. And Mercedes has achieved exactly that with this powertrain. Um, don't get me wrong, this vehicle does get up and go. It's not slow by any means. Um, but when just comfortably cruising around, um, it's, it's very, very seamless and smooth as you would expect from an S550. It idles smooth, it sounds very healthy, it goes through all the gears. It is just a tremendous driving experience. This car is packed to the brim with features and it just delivers a top-notch luxury experience. Whether you're the driver, the passenger, it doesn't matter. It's good for everybody involved. This is just a phenomenal car all around. So that is our 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550 4Matic. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this car on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.